everybody and welcome to this video on how to use the Global Terrorism Database. In the video today we're going to learn how to do four things. We're going to look at how to find the raw numbers of terrorist events that happen in a particular year in a particular country. We're going to be looking at trends. We're going to be looking at how to discover terrorism tactics. I'm going to learn how to answer some very simple terrorism questions using the open access portal through the Global Terrorism Database website. The Global Terrorism Database, or the GTD, contains data on terrorism events from around the world between 1970 and 2017. It should be noted that it doesn't contain data in 1993, but that's another story, um, but it is one of the foremost um, databases on terrorism um, that we currently have at our disposal. Beyond its methodological strengths, the GTD is fantastic for those looking to answer some simple questions on global terrorism. One of the best parts about this is the ease at which you can use its online portal. The Global Terrorism Database can be accessed um, through the link in the description and this is what the front page looks like. As you can see there is a search bar where you can search for keywords and there's also an advanced search which is what we'll be using today. So to begin our simple queries, let's see how many terrorist attacks there were in the United States in 1970. To answer this question, we're going to begin by clicking on the advanced search button on the front page like so. This takes us to the advanced search screen where you'll see there's a whole list of different criteria that we can select upon on the left hand side here. To begin with, with for, to answer our first question, we want to look at events that occurred in 1970. To limit the search to only events that occurred in 1970, we're going to click on this first box here for find incidents between and only select 1970. By doing this, it's only going to bring up events that occurred in 1970. To limit the search now to looking at the United States, we're now going to click on the country tab and it's going to bring up a list of all the countries that are currently contained within the Global Terrorism Database. As you can see, there's a lot of countries within this database, and we're going to scroll all the way down until we get to the United States and select that. Once we've selected that, you'll see that the um, next to the When tab, there's now a green um, light that's showing, and next to the Country tab, there's now a yellow tab that's sh showing, um, indicating that there are limitations that have been placed on both of those categories. Once we're happy with the search that we're going to run, we're going to click the search button like so to reveal how many terrorist attacks there were in the United States in the year 1970. Whenever you search in the Global Terrorism Database, you'll get a screen that'll look something like this. As you'll see here, there's a graph that comes up which shows us a broad trend, a general trend, which we'll be looking at a little bit later. And if you scroll down, there's a little bit more information on specific events, which we'll be touching on in a future video. For now, though, we want to identify how many attacks there were in the United States in 1970. Uh, the first thing we want to do is double check our search criteria. And as you can see here, we're limited to the year 1970 and we're limited to the country, the United States. So all good on that front. To answer the question specifically, the answer is contained actually in this top bar here, which indicates that there were 468 incidents that occurred in the United States in this year. So the answer to our question is there were 468 terrorist events that occurred in the United States in 1970. Our next goal is to look at trends in terrorism. So essentially this is trying to ask the question, is terrorism going up, is it going down, or is it remaining stable over time? So to look at terrorism trends, let's focus on the United States again. Beginning with the screen where we finished off our last search, let's go back to the advanced search bar again to start again. So as you can see when you go back to the advanced search, it's remembered everything that we searched for before. So with this, to look at terrorism trends, let's begin by looking at terrorism trends in the United States between 1970 and 2017, the entire length of the Global Terrorism Database. Whenever I start a new search, I always like to clear all of the tabs, like so. And this makes sure that I don't accidentally limit my search by another criterion um, that I don't intend to do so. So because I'm looking at the entire period of the Global Terrorism Database, I actually don't have to limit um, anything on the WEN tab. And instead, I'm only going to limit things by country because we'll be looking just at the United States. So again, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. We're going to select United States, and now we're going to hit search. 
So first things first, uh, we can see that between 1970 and 2017, there were 2,836 incidents of terrorism that occurred in the United States. And what we can also do by scrolling down and looking at this graph is look at how many of these events occurred in each year throughout this period. Because terrorism was much higher in the United States in 1970, if you were to imaginarily, imaginarily draw a line through the data, like so, you could see that there would be a downhill slope there. So for the, across the entire period, there's actually been a reduction in terrorism in general in the United States. But as you can see, there's a little bit more to the story than that. And what you might be curious um, about is how terrorism has looked in the United States between the year 2000 and the year 2017. To do that, we're going to go back to the advanced search. And what we're going to do is we're going to limit the search field again based on years. So for this particular search, we're going to begin in the year 2000 by selecting 2000. And we're going to conclude the period in 2017. Um, as you can see here, our green country button has already been lit up. So we know that the search is still being limited to look solely at the United States. Once we hit search, we can scroll down and confirm this, that the country is indeed the United States. And we're looking at the years between the year 2000 and the year 2017. By limiting the data to just these years, a different picture appears with the data. So as we can see here, since the year 2000, even though there was a slight uptick here in 2001, generally speaking, there was a decline thereafter till about the year 2011. Since then, however, there's been an uptick in terrorism in the United States, according to the Global Terrorism Database. So this relationship or this trend can be seen to be parabolic, where it's gone down and then it's gone up during this time frame, indicating some complex trends in terrorism in the United States during this period. Another question you may want to ask and answer is which terrorism tactic was the most frequently used in a given year? And that's what we'll turn to next. So for our example, let's look at which terrorism tactic was used most frequently in the year 2017 in the United States. So once again, we're going to go back to our advanced search. And this time we're going to change um, the when category to be looking at solely 2017. So for the first one, we're going to scroll down to 2017. And then we're going to blank out the, um, the end year. So we're just looking at 2017. We'll then now manually check the country, and as we can see over here on the right, it's the United States. So we've got everything that we're looking at here. So we're looking at 2017 in the United States once again. We're going to hit search. And this yields um, a result of 65 incidents again for the United States during this year. What we can see here below, though, is the total number of attacks over time. Instead, what we want to look at is the attack type. And so we're going to click over here on the left to change the information that's being displayed in this graph. When we click on attack type, as you can see here, we have a key on the right hand side that goes through the different types of attacks, including assassination, armed assault, bombings or explosions, hijacking, two different types of hostage taking, facility and infrastructure attacks, unarmed assaults and attacks where the method was unknown. So as we can see here over time, we can look at um, how each different attack expects, expressed itself over the course of a year. We can see here in May of uh, 2017 that armed assaults were the most frequently used um, terrorist tactic, with six attacks being using that method. Unfortunately, this method has some limitations in that it can't give you specific numbers for the entire year in, the, in a way that's easily testable, and we'll go through exactly how to do that in future episodes. For now, this is the tool to let you know which was the most frequently used uh, terrorism tactic in a given month or a given year in a specific country. The final thing that we're going to look at in today's video is how to answer a simple question about terrorism. Specifically, let's go through how to work out how many more terrorist attacks there were globally in 2016 compared to 2001. So to do this, once again, we're going to turn back to our advanced search to look at how many attacks there were across the globe. So once again, we can see here that um, we've already got limitations based on countries. So we want to remove that and anything else we've got. So we're going to go to clear all tabs. Once that's done, we've got a blank slate to begin with. And because we're looking at all attacks around the globe, we don't need to worry about country or region or anything like that. Instead, we're going to be looking firstly um, at the two specific years that we're going to be looking at, which are 2016 and 2001. So to begin with, let's look at 2016. So we're going to scroll all the way down to 2016 and select 2016. And that's actually the only thing we need for this search. 
So we're going to hit search and see what comes up and we can find out that there's 13,587 incidents in that year. So to conduct and answer this question, we're going to use our trusty calculator, like so. I'm um, going to enter in the number, which was 13,587. Next, we need to find the number of attacks that occurred in 2001. So we're going to go back to our advanced search, and we're going to, instead of searching for 2016, we're going to select 2001, and search again. Uh, this yields 1,906 terrorism incidents. So we're going to enter that into our calculator now. And so we're going to have 13,587 minus 1,906, which gives us a final answer of 11,681. So an answer to our question is how many more attacks were there, terrorism attacks were there in 2016 compared to 2001? We can say that there was 11,681 more attacks in 2016. I hope you found this video to be useful, and I'm very much looking forward to going through some more advanced techniques with you in future videos. Have a great day.